Hey, Laura, how you doing? All right, so first things first, I, let me describe the assignment to you, okay? And, I, and to do so, I just want to go over here and, and tell you where we're at right now. Right now, we're so, you're supposed to have these done as digital finals. Um, your final three logos digital with the story which you have. And, and But these are supposed to be digital. Um, they're not. So I, I, I would say at this point, we're starting to fall behind a little bit. Um, so we really need to get these three. Well, actually, I don't know how you want to do this because um, right now, this assignment, which I have to grade today because midterm um, grades are due, it, it's it's a little bit lacking. Um, and I understand why. I understand because you changed gears here and kind of started over with sketching. So I'll take, you know, I'll take that into consideration. Um um, while looking at at the the grading rubric and, and applying um, your work towards that, but just so you know, this is supposed to be digital final. See right over here, final um, um, week four uh, project phase two concept final due. So those would be considered final um, iterations. So basically, I think what you, what I would have looked for is this: I would have looked for a final digital version of that, final digital version of that final digital version of your third and fourth, okay? And then I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, this isn't part of this. You know, this this is great. This is awesome that you're looking this way and looking at memorabilia. And I think these sketches are fantastic. I love this. I, I do. I think these are wonderful sketches. But right now we're beyond this stage, so I'm a little bit confused as how, how we're going to continue here. Um so basically what you would have had is this. You would have had this logo presented in final digital format. Then with that logo, you would have had your written report um, associated with that logo. You would have had all your sketches associated with that logo and your pictograms associated with that logo. Then you would have gone over here and digitized this final logo with a written report and your all your sketches associated with that and then your pictograms associated with that and then finally here so the pictograms i think are great i love the direction but the thing is is that each pictogram should be designed for each logos and holding the same kind of um, visual cues and the same kind of visual posture that the logo has so you can't really design pictograms like one size fits all do you, do you see what i'm saying um and that's where I'm at right now. In terms of what you have here, I think your logo is right here. Definitely. I definitely think your logo is right there. I, I would reformat some things. Um, I, you know, you don't have the name here. You don't, you don't need Winter Olympics. You don't need that in your, in your um, logo. I would just say Anchorage. Like I would have this guy right here. Um, 2022 Anchorage, Alaska with a little Olympics. So, um, um, uh, rings underneath that okay then what you would do is you would take your pictograms and and use them towards you know design them accordingly so that there's some visual similarities between your logo and your pictograms um and that's how you're going to tie the rest of the branding together is based on that relationship of the, the visual relationships that are in common in in your work okay um Okay, I mean, that's where I'm at right now. I, I, I hope I've given you enough information to move forward. If I haven't, please feel free to contact them. Let me know. Okay, thanks.